Let's look at this short answer question. Explain the importance of surface area to volume ratio in relation to each of the following. Cell size, villus function, as well as alveolus function. When approaching these kinds of questions, we know that, first of all, this is a long, kind, a long question. So it's got uh, about either seven to nine marks allocated to it. So we want to write at least seven to nine points. We're going to write hopefully about that many number of points today. So other important things that we need to highlight is this fact that it says talking about surface area to volume ratio and the ratio as well. So that's the first thing we can start to talk about then. We can start talking about surface area in, and cells. So in cells, surface area is actually involved with um, the passage of uh, molecules going through it. So whether that be intake of nutrients or output of excretion or output of waste products. So let's talk about that first. So in cells, remember to do dot points, in cells, uptake of nutrients is a function of surface area. But in contrast, we have volume as well. So the larger the size of a, of a cell, the more, um, the more kind of nutrients it needs. about demand of nutrients is dependent on of is dependent on volume. So we've talked about A, the surface area, and we've talked about the volume as well. So those are two, these first two points underlined in red. The second one is the ratio. So what happens to the ratio? As, so as a cell gets bigger, then the surface area and the volume do increase. However, the volume actually increases at a cubic rate compared to the surface area, which, it, which um, increases at a square rate. So volume actually increases at a faster rate than surface area. As cell size increases, volume increases at a greater rate than surface area. And now let's talk about the ratio. So as a cell gets bigger, if the surface area, the, what happens to the surface area to volume ratio? Well, that actually becomes smaller because the, as the surface area gets a little bit bigger, then the volume gets a lot bigger. So if you have a, if you have a, um, a little number on a big number, what happens? So say if you have one over a hundred, then you've got a very, you've, this ratio is relatively small. So therefore the surface area to volume ratio is small. If that is a bit confusing to you, just know that as cell size gets bigger, the surface area to volume ratio gets smaller. So it's the opposite. So as cell size gets bigger, surface area volume ratio gets smaller. So this is why cells can't be too big. You know, you don't have cells the size of a watermelon. They're usually quite small because the surface area to volume ratio needs to be um, high enough so that the different nutrients can come in and out. So that's probably enough about cell size. That's only the first point. Now let's talk about villus function as well. So what is the villus? So the villus is the flattened projections that are inside the small intestine which help with absorption. Let's talk about that. So the first thing we can say is about the villus themselves. So villi, which is the plural of villus, are flattened projections 
and what do they do to the surface area to volume ratio which increase surface area to volume ratio so we talked about what that does to the surface area to volume ratio and finally what the ratio does which increases efficiency of absorption So if we just draw a quick diagram just over here, you might remember these kind of sausage-like projections that are like this. Those are the villi and they actually cause, you see how the surface area increases because of these outpouchings? You've got more um, surface area compared to if it was just say flat like this. There's more black line. The black line represents the surface area than compared to this one. Or well, even on the villus themselves, they've got, they've got themselves, they've got microvilli, which are more kind of like little outpouching on outpouchings, which increase the surface area even more. So let's talk about those as well. So microvilli increase surface area to volume ratio, which increases absorption efficiency. Good, so that's the villus function done. Finally, let's talk about alveoli function. So alveoli are like little grape structures which are in the, uh, which are in the lung and they increase surface area to volume ratio as well. Except this time it's not for absorption, it's for gas exchange. Alveoli increase surface area to volume ratio which increases efficiency of gas exchange. And there you go, there are our seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And those would get at least uh, approximately seven to seven out of the seven to nine marks. So there's a good basis for you to start from. 2.1 and cut. There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out, just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions, as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a 7 in high level IB biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right hand corner. Thanks.